Have you ever wondered where the epic tales of Homer's Iliad and Odyssey took place? Our tale unfolds in ancient Anatolia, a cradle of civilizations where the Hittites, Phrygians, and Urartians flourished. This land of legends was home to the city of Troy, an emblem of the region's significance, immortalized in the annals of history by Homer's timeless epics. Anatolia's strategic position, bridging Asia and Europe, did not go unnoticed. Its allure extended to the mighty Persian Empire which exerted its influence over the region. However, the course of Anatolia's history took a dramatic turn in 334 BCE. A young, ambitious conqueror, Alexander the Great, swept into the region, casting a long shadow over the ancient civilizations of Anatolia. Thus, the stage was set for the rise of new powers on this historic land. The echoes of the past reverberated through the ages, setting the tone for the next chapters in the story of this fascinating region. As the Western Roman Empire fell, the eastern half shone brightly with Constantinople as its crown jewel. The Byzantine Empire, with Constantinople as its heart, was a beacon of art, culture and trade that shone for over a thousand years. This splendid city, straddling the crossroads of Europe and Asia, was a melting pot of influences and a vital hub of commerce, drawing traders, scholars and artists from far and wide. However, the sands of time are ever shifting. In 1453, the Ottoman Turks, under the leadership of Mehmed II, laid siege to Constantinople. After a formidable battle, the city fell, marking the end of the Byzantine Empire. This event sent shockwaves throughout the world, signifying the transition from the Middle Ages to the modern era. The fall of Constantinople marked the beginning of a new era, the era of the Ottomans. With this, the stage was set for the rise of one of history's most remarkable empires. From the ashes of the Byzantine Empire a new power arose, the Ottoman Empire. The genesis of this formidable empire was marked by the visionary leadership of Osman I, who sowed the seeds of a dynasty that would rule for over six centuries. As the empire expanded, it welcomed a multitude of cultures and religions under its dominion, fostering a vibrant and diverse society. One of the most notable leaders of this era was Suleiman the Magnificent. His reign brought forth an age of unprecedented artistic and architectural achievement, turning the empire into a beacon of culture and refinement. The Ottoman Empire's strategic positioning made it a significant player in global politics, with Istanbul serving as a crucial junction between the East and the West. This bustling city was the empire's beating heart, a testament to the Ottomans' grandeur and might. However, like all great empires, the Ottomans too faced the inevitable cycle of decline. As the 19th century rolled in, the once mighty Ottoman Empire grappled with internal and external pressures. The empire's vast territories and diverse populations presented unique challenges. In response, the Sultanate embarked on an ambitious modernization project known as the Tanzimat Reforms. These reforms aimed to centralize the administration, standardize law, and modernize the military. However, the reforms were met with resistance, and the empire's grip loosened. This period also saw the rise of nationalist movements, fueled by a desire for self-determination among the empire's diverse ethnic groups. The empire, once a beacon of multicultural coexistence, was now under threat from within its own borders. The final blow came with World War I. The empire found itself on the losing side, its territories carved up amongst the victors. The once mighty empire crumbled, its glory days a distant memory. Out of the ruins of the Ottoman Empire, a new republic would rise. In 1923, a new dawn broke over the lands of Anatolia with the founding of the Republic of Turkey. After the ashes of the Ottoman Empire settled, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk emerged as the nation's leader. A visionary reformer, Atatürk introduced sweeping changes with one goal in mind, to modernize Turkey. He abolished the Ottoman Sultanate, replacing it with a democratic, secular government. He replaced the Arabic script with the Latin alphabet and championed for women's rights, granting them the right to vote and run for office. During World War II, Turkey played a vital, albeit complex, role, maintaining neutrality for much of the war before joining the Allies in its final year. The post-war era saw Turkey aligning itself with the West. In 1952, it became a member of NATO, bolstering its strategic importance during the Cold War era. However, the journey wasn't without challenges. The transition from a once mighty empire to a modern republic was fraught with social, political, and economic upheavals. 
Ataturk's vision of a secular Turkey has been tested over time, with debates over the role of religion in politics stirring the nation's narrative. Yet, as Turkey stepped into the modern world it faced a new set of challenges. Even today, the nation stands at a crossroads, grappling with issues of identity, tradition and modernity, its past intricately woven into the fabric of its present. Turkey experienced significant economic growth in the latter half of the 20th century. As the nation embraced industrialization and globalization, it saw a boom in sectors such as textiles, automotive, and tourism. This growth, however, was not without its trials. Turkey faced, and continues to face, a number of economic and political challenges. High inflation, unemployment, and a large informal economy have been persistent issues. These have been further complicated by fluctuations in the global market and the nation's dependence on imported energy. Shifts in the political landscape have also played a significant role. Debates over the role of religion in politics have been a point of contention, particularly in the context of Turkey's secular constitution. The country, while predominantly Muslim, has a legacy of secularism that dates back to its foundation by Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Balancing these two aspects has been an ongoing challenge. Another significant issue has been the Kurdish question. The Kurdish minority in Turkey has long sought greater recognition and rights. This has led to conflict and tension, affecting both domestic politics and Turkey's relations with its neighbors. Despite these challenges, Turkey remains resilient. It continues to adapt, evolve, and strive for progress, mirroring the tenacity of its people. The nation's journey, much like its history, is a tale of perseverance and strength. In the face of these challenges, Turkey continues to forge its path, a testament to the enduring spirit of its people. And from the ancient civilizations of Anatolia to the modern Republic of Turkey, this land has been the stage for a captivating historical journey. It started with the Hittites, Phrygians, and Urartians, whose influence echoed through the annals of history. It continued with the Byzantine Empire, a beacon of culture and art that stood for over a thousand years. The rise and fall of the Ottoman Empire, a realm of diversity and power, marked another significant chapter. The Tanzimat reforms of the 19th century signaled a quest for modernity, even as the empire faced its decline. In the ashes of the Ottoman Empire, the Republic of Turkey emerged under the leadership of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, a symbol of resilience and reform. Despite economic growth and challenges in the 20th century, Turkey has remained adaptable, navigating political debates and geopolitical tensions with a steadfast spirit. Today, Turkey stands at the crossroads of tradition and modernity, a nation shaped by a rich tapestry of history, 